Hello fellow floss tubers, it's Patty here with episode 154. Today is May the 24th, 2021. On today's show, I have whips and hauls, so sit back and relax, grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing iced tea today, yes. Your craft of choice, and let's chat. So, how has everybody's week been? Mine has been good. Uh, the weather has been really nice. We didn't go camping again because hubby had to work Saturday. And when he got home Saturday afternoon, it was windy and looked really bad. But by 4 o'clock, the wind had died down. The sun was out and shining. It would have been a great night to go camping. But we had already decided not to. So we are really hoping that um, this Memorial Day weekend, which is next Monday, so it would be Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We are hoping to take a three-day weekend and pack up the motorhome and leave Friday night. He wants to get off work a little bit early, come home and go. So that's what we're hoping to do. Even if it's yucky out, we're still just going to go because can't wait until it's nice out every time. We just need to go and explore. So that's our plan. Hopefully it'll turn out. Um, let's see what else. I went out to my mom's a couple of times last week. And uh, the daughter-in-law has been going out every day and letting Jack out in the morning, which is the dog, and feeding him. So my mom doesn't have to do it. <coughs> and her hubby is going out at night and letting the dog out again. So the dog is being well taken care of with my mom. So that's really great news. Uh, I don't know if I've told you guys that we are doing a remodel of the house. We have our spot for next year is all ready. Um, we are still in the planning stages a little bit. So we think we've got the layout how we want it because we're going to be adding a room or adding a addition. And in that room, we're going to be putting uh, a mother-in-law suite, kind of, and a bathroom for her. So it'll be a room for her, a bathroom, and um, a laundry room slash utility room, and a pantry. So, yeah, it's going to be, it's not huge addition, but it is an addition. So we're trying to get all of that ready for the uh, contractors to do a plan and uh, we'll see they say it's gonna take four months I really hope it'll only take four months next summer starting in June and ending in September so cross your fingers that next year that that will all go smoothly and I will talk about it as it gets closer I'm just looking around this room knowing that oh my goodness I've got a lot of packing because we are also going to have all the floors done and the upstairs because they need it we want hardwood floors <laughs> in the house and not this carpet uh, let's see what else we had the littles on Sunday and that was a lot of fun it was a really pretty day out yesterday so we played outside for a little while we played in the motorhome for a little while and the littlest man was not happy about having to take a nap and he cried for at least 10 to 15 minutes crying himself to sleep because I held him and rocked him and rocked him because the minute I would put him down he'd just scream so he didn't want to be put down he didn't want to take a nap he didn't want anything but he finally fell asleep and he woke up maybe four or five times and the hubby would go and pick him up and rock him until he fell asleep again and he'd go back to sleep Our poor little guy was so tired so yeah that's about all the blatherings shall we get on with the stitching i think so i have a shameful um, admission to make i have not been feeling gypsy queen this month um so Monday, I did not do my mirror Monday, but Tuesday I did start again with some of the rotation. So this is Dark Queen of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And I got part of the clue done. There is no way I'm going to be able to finish this clue 
because it is this bottom portion. It's kind of hard to see, but it's this bottom portion here that I'm working on. So there's no way I can finish this clue. But what I did is I got one color completely done and I started the second color. So it goes from here and it's wide and it comes back up around there. Yeah. So here it goes like this and comes wide and comes back. So it's a huge clue. And like I said, there's just absolutely no way that I can finish that piece before the end of the month. So I'm just going to do as much as I can. And I'm not going to push myself to finish it either. So here it is. This is on 32 count. I can't remember, but I dyed it myself. I dyed it myself. Charles Craft? Yeah, I think it's 32 count Charles Craft dyed it by me. That sounds right. Okay, and that, oops, let's put the picture back in there. If my printer was working, I would print a new picture off, but my printer is just, but I've cleaned the heads of it, cleaned the heads of it, it's still not working, so I don't know what's wrong with it. Alrighty. So then I went ahead and picked up my WIPGO pattern picture, which is, which one is this one? Ah, this one is Nantucket Rose by Lavender and Lace. And this is what she's going to look like when she's finished. And I've got quite a bit done. Um, I'm doing the 10 by 10 rows right now. So I finished the one color in this block and then one color in this block. So I stitched maybe three or four hours. I don't think I'm going to get the 10 hours done on this one this time around, but I will pick it up maybe in the later date to finish the 10 hours that I need to get done. But here it is. This is being stitched on 32 count. <sighs> now it's, there it is. This is Violet Mist by, which, because it's the stiffer arm. So there where it's at with the um, Garon Grime Guard of the Month Club this month. So, yay! I like being able to use it. And it just fits in this bag that I made a long time ago. So, okay. And then I decided I had planned on working on this every month, and I never, I haven't done it lately. So I go ahead and pulled out Halloween at Hawkrun Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I am stitching this on 40 Count Heritage by Picture This Plus. And I got a lot accomplished on this. I got... The owl almost done. I just have to finish his face. I finished the alligator's mouth and I put the frog in. So I was really happy with how much I got done on this. It's just so cute. So cute. Oh, and I got the eyes done on this guy back here. And the eyes up here. So, yay! I do want to pull this out once or twice a month because I really do want this done at some point before my eyes get so bad that I can't because 40 count even with the magnifier and light it's getting kind of tiring so I can't spend a lot of time on that because my eyes get tired okay and then the last project to show you of course is Fright Night charted by Gecko Rouge art is by Louis T. Johnson I am stitching this one over one on 25 count easy guide and I got another page finish. So I finished this page here. So the ghost is just appearing in the window. It took me a while to figure what that figure out what that was. I had it setting farther away from me and I went, oh wow, that's the ghost at the top. So there he is. There's the ghost at the top. And I did a little bit of this today. I was stitching this morning while I was Letting my hair dry a little bit and, and just resting. So, 
yeah I'm gonna keep working on this today but I am just so happy that is the 10th page finish this year so far so yeah I'm it's just going gangbusters and I am so happy with how many pages I've gotten done so far and that's since April or March since March I picked this up in March 10 pages since March yay yay so yeah I can hopefully you guys will be able to see it. It's that oh let's put that down I guess. It's right there, that ghost. So that's where we're at. And it's um twenty twenty percent done I believe. So that's exciting. That's exciting. So that was all of the stitching that I got accomplished this last week haul i did get my fabric of the month from fortnite fabrics and it's neutered dragon because i'm getting the grays and this is 32 count even weave and i really like this one i really do it is so pretty turn it around But I think it is such a nice, it's a darker fabric than what they have been sending. So I'm really happy with that. And even though you can't tell, there is a little hint of purple in it. But there it is. Oh, itchy nose. Oh, yes, I got my hair cut. So happy. I've been wanting to get my hair cut, so I decided, what the heck, i get my hair cut. So, plans. I plan on working on Fright Night, of course. I plan on picking back up the Queen of the Sea, the Dark Queen of the Sea, and um, Nantucket Rose. I want to work on that and get as many hours in as I can. And then throw another uh, one in there. Um, now, my stitching. For Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I am taking Fright Night with me and I'm taking extra light. So I'm hoping that I can stitch sometimes, some of the time. I know he wants to go hiking and go out and spend time out in nature. So we're also going to stop to see if we can go fishing. So we might, um, I'll have to get fishing license, of course, but. I'm hoping to do, I'm not a big fan of the fishing and or outdoorsy kinds of things, but I'll go for a walk with him and I will fish for a little while, but mostly I'll probably be sitting either outside the camper with bug spray on because mosquitoes are already bad, already, already bad. So in stitching or inside the motorhome stitching. It all depends on what the weather's like and what we're doing. So I do have extra light and I have a magnifier and that's on a stand. So that is what I'm taking. I'm hoping to get some work done, but I'll also be taking knitting just in case, just in case. I'm still working on the hats and the socks. You really can't tell any different. I've got two pairs of socks going. I've got a hat going and yeah, I really need to get on the ball with that. So, looking around here, that's all I've got. I can't believe I blathered so much that it's 13 minutes long. <laughs> so, thanks for coming in week after week. I really appreciate it. And if you're new, thanks for coming in and checking me out. I hope you will like and subscribe. And, yeah, I think that's it. So, I hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy. I hope that if you're in the States, you have a great Memorial Day weekend. And I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. And I'll see you next week. Bye.